Greetings. One of the things that has to be spoken about regarding the current artificial intelligence boom is this big fad around artificial general intelligence and an over discussion of that as the be all and end all of any type of AI future. Now what is AGI, artificial general intelligence? Simply an artificial intelligence that can do most or all of the things that a human can do. In most cases better than what a human can do versus half of them being inferior to what a human can do. And artificial general intelligence is in opposition to the concept of narrow AI. Narrow AI is an AI that is specialized to do one thing extremely well but cannot do a whole lot outside of that. Now with artificial general intelligence I see two problems. One is everyone feels pressured to say that AGI is going to arrive by a certain date, often very soon. In some cases, just a few years away or a couple years away or whatever, number one. And number two, they're conflating an AGI as the necessary condition for a technological singularity. Now, I am of the view that AGI is not only not near, but it's also not an absolutely mandatory condition for a technological singularity. Now, if you refer back to my two-hour podcast with John Smart, which you can access over here, he believes AGI is not happening until 2080 or later, the 2080s, so as much as 60 years away from now. And therefore, he said the technological singularity is also not until the 2080s. Now, I agree with him that AGI is certainly not near. There are far too many people out there saying that AGI is going to be by 2026 or 2027 or something like that. That is simply out of the question. And this overemphasis on AGI is too much of a human-centric bias in terms of understanding what intelligence is. AGI isn't that important either. Consider what narrow AIs can do. How long has it been since narrow AIs were better than humans at calculation? Well, Alan Turing had a simple calculator type mechanism in the 1940s, but by 1974, it was possible to buy an individual calculator for your home. It was an expensive, large device, but you could buy a simple calculator for home use by the 1970s. And eventually it got cheaper and cheaper until now it's just a dematerialized app that exists in everyone's phone, on their PC, etc. There's no mechanical wear and tear or electronic degradation that can occur. So calculators have been thousands of times better than humans at calculation for about 50 years now. Square roots, cube roots, a calculator can do all of that easily. Before there was a calculator, humans had to do those things manually using log tables, slide rules, and other techniques. So a calculator is one example of an AI that has already been way more advanced than a human for a long time. But go to the other extreme. Where is AI not able to do what a human can do to even a fractional degree. A very good example is comedy. You would think that AI could produce comedy that we would find funny, and some people claim that there is such an AI, but I have not seen it yet, or at least seen something that is funny. So this is something where AI has made no progress towards overtaking humans at all. And that is how the spectrum of intelligence is very, very disjointed from what a human intelligence is and how it is incorrect to see a human intelligence as the only model of intelligence because it is natural that there would be certain things that artificial intelligence can do thousands of times better than a human while there are other things where it is not making any progress towards replacing even basic human ability and it's always going to be that way that's why an AGI is the wrong paradigm in and of itself and what's funny is that I see a lot of people who should know better, like for example, Jeffrey Hinton. They are panicking about AGI and are really worried about it, assuming that once AGI comes into being, then all human jobs are gonna go away and things like that. Now, Jeffrey Hinton is an artificial intelligence expert based on things he did a long time ago, but his views on both AGI as well as automation taking away human employment are very out of date, I'm sad to say. But someone like this is listened to and therefore people are panicking about AGI. Other very prominent people have also said things about AGI that's mostly fearful in nature. 
I just don't think these fears of AGI are founded at all. It's not happening anytime soon. But a technological singularity will happen nonetheless. Artificial general intelligence can certainly help a technological singularity happen, but it's not a necessary condition because remember my definition of a technological singularity is when all technological progress goes vertical in the chart, it becomes human surpassing and therefore economic progress becomes virtually of infinite speed. And that is something that I have consistently said will happen by the early 2060s or so, give or take a few years. I've done videos on this channel about timing the singularity, which you can find. So a technological singularity could in fact occur without AGI because an AGI is not a necessary condition for exponentially accelerating economic progress and therefore it is not a necessary condition for a technological singularity. It could help, but it is not a mandatory condition. So these are things to think about when people start talking about AGI, AGI. I've been hearing about AGI for 25 years now, and it is not happening anytime soon, nor is that the ultimate manifestation of intelligence. Those are the two takeaways that you should have from this video. Now, if you like this type of content, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel, and thank you very much for watching.